did not check my makeup before filming this looking a little ratchet but you know it's just an empty video it ain't nothing special so and if you see lights again I'm in front of a window so hey guys it's V so today I thought that I would film a little bit of an impromptu video I haven't bought any new products recently and so I thought I would show you guys the products that I bought a long time ago and now I've finished and thrown away and that is my thought process behind this so I've got lots and lots of products in here for you guys. So let's just dive right into my trash hoard that I've explored and see what we've got to going on. So first thing that I see a butt ton of, not one, not two, not three, but four different types of makeup wipes in my empties. This one I've talked about in many videos. It is the Aveeno Ultra Calming face wipes these are my absolute favorite nothing more to really say about them they stay really moist with this little closure here and they're just great wipes so i've got three of those in this empties then i have got two of the morning blast facial cleansing wipes i got these with one other one and there's 25 wipes in each package and it was five dollars for three packages of 25 which was a great value except for i know why they were so cheap because they sucked case point that's about it they just sucked they didn't stay moist they smelled really weird all the different flavors smelled interesting and weird so that's why they are so cheap guys just so you know you get what you pay for with face wipes you really do these ones are like seven dollars for a 25 count those were five dollars for 75 count do the math I've bought way more of these than I have of those. Then I got this one in a um, Walmart beauty box subscription and these were the wipes that i got before i discovered the aveeno ultra calming wipes so i like these wipes they're nice they're not as moist as the aveeno ones they don't get your makeup off as well as the aveeno ones but they're nice and you know i use them obviously so i like them then i got these simple cleansing facial wipes i got another sample pack from i'm pretty sure a walmart subscription box they just love to send wipes and um yeah these were okay they weren't my favorite they didn't smell my favorite they didn't really do an amazing job i'm not gonna stop buying the aveeno to get these so they didn't impress me that much the next thing in here that i have multiples of is the batiste dry shampoo and um gotta say i'm not really sure if i understand the hype with this product it really doesn't work any better than any other aerosol shampoo that i have dry shampoo that i have ever purchased and to be honest i mean i like when it leaves a white cast but this was a little bit ridiculous because it would like stick in my scalp and it would not come out so i wasn't really a big fan of these honestly i just really think that powder dry shampoos do the best job and the lush no drought dry shampoo i have a review of it down below i will link it for you guys it has been the best one so far so i mean waste your money on these another thing about these is that they lasted maybe like two and a half three weeks for me because i use it probably every other day so these did not last any amount of time and they're like eight dollars a bottle so even if they're buy one get one half off at ulta i don't know i don't know don't think i'm gonna be repurchasing the next thing in here i am definitely a big fan of and that is the revlon color stay foundation in the shade 150 buff and this is the normal to dry skin one i actually bought the oily skin one and i kind of like it better but i also kind of don't this one is a lot more runny of a foundation the other one the oily skin one i have to keep sitting upside down in order to get anything out and then when i do it i kind of open it and i just like keep doing this on my hand until like <laughs> i just have to keep doing this on my hand until i can actually get all of the product out and so that's kind of annoying and so i actually kind of liked the normal to dry skin one better even though i have combination oily dry everything skin so I don't know. I probably will be purchased this one instead of the oily skin one when I get another one. The next thing in here is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, and I like this mascara a lot. If you like the Benefit Roller Lash, this is actually really, really similar. The brush is super similar 
to the brush in that one. And actually this has quite a bit of product left, but it's getting gooey in there. So I just decided to stop using it and I bought a new one. So I've already repurchased this one for sure. But yeah, the roller lash I find stabs me. Every single time I try to use it, the bristles on the brush are so hard, they stab my eye every single time I use it. And then I get mascara down here. Then I have to wipe it off. Then I have to reapply concealer. Then I have to reapply powder. So this is better than the roller lash in my opinion and it is one third of the price being eight dollars when the roller lash is 24 so i say get this it is a wetter formula but i really love it the next thing i have in here is the fresh sugar lip treatment and i really liked this product although it is extremely overpriced and it does kind of smell weird and towards the end it started to smell like mildew like mold and i don't know why but it was really freaking me out so i just had to stop using it i i pretty much used all of it like i mean you can see that there's like nothing left in there but it started to smell like mildew and i'm not sure why so watch out for that the next thing in here i also got in a walmart subscription box and it is the l'oreal youth code pore vanisher and this is really really similar to the pore professionals by benefit it doesn't work as good but it was pretty good um i didn't really feel like it helped my makeup to last any longer or anything like that but it was okay i probably won't be buying the full size though the next thing in here is a sample of the Garnier New Ultra Lift Miracle Sleeping Cream. And this is just a cream that you put on when you sleep and it's supposed to do miracles. I don't really feel like it helped me any certain way, but hi babe. So yeah, I don't really feel like this helped me any more than it should but i also am trying it now in summer when it's probably more of a winter product so i don't know if i really gave it a fair chance but it was okay wasn't anything special the next thing that i have in here is the cinnamon buns shampoo shower gel and bubble bath by philosophy and i got this a really long time ago from my boyfriend's mom and finally like found it randomly in my stuff and started using it when i took baths with my lush bath bombs and it lathered up the water pretty good. I, I had to use quite a bit of it to get it to bubble up in there and the bubbles didn't last very long, but it smelled like cinnamon buns. So, I mean, that's always a plus. So it was okay. I can learn how to make cinnamon buns now because it has the recipe on the thing, so. The next thing in here I have is the Shine Brilliance Shine Flash by Redken. This is a product that when I was in cosmetology school, my school was a Redken school, so we learned primarily with Redken products. And this was something that in the back bar, this went so fast because people used the crap out of it. And I think that the scent is definitely something that you either love or hate. I I'm okay with it. I like now saying love or hate, I'm just saying I'm indifferent about it, but I don't love it and I don't hate it. Very interesting scent. It's kind of like almost citrusy in a way, but it does make your hair super shiny. And I mean, with my hair, as you can see, this is all natural except for my bangs. My hair needs some shine because it is a frizz, frizzy. It is a frizzy mess of hair that looks like a lion's mane. So I needed something like this for some shine and it did the job. The next thing I have in here, I just recently like finished it. There's still a little bit in there, but I hate waiting for it to get to the bottom. This is the Renewing Argon Oil of Morocco Extra Penetrating Oil for Dry and Coarse Hair, which is what I have. I have dry and coarse hair. Both of those, both of those things are what my hair is. So I loved this little oil. It smells it smells like all oils should smell. I got one oil from Dove and that shit smells like baby powder. That is gross. I don't want that smell on my hair. So this stuff smells amazing and it really does help your hair to be a little bit less dry and coarse. It didn't help a whole lot, but it made my hair smell nice. So, I mean, I got some that I got the use out of it that way. The last thing in here, one of my holy grail products, my favorite products that I just cannot live without. And that is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Not the keratin one, not the blondes one, the original OG Miracle Leave-In treatment. This stuff is not cheap. Even for me, when I have a cosmetology license, it's still kind of expensive for this, but I cannot live without this stuff. I spray it every time I get out of the shower and have wet hair. I just, I just can't live without it. That's all I can say about it. It is my favorite hair product that I own. I can switch shampoo, conditioner, everything else, but this 
this is a staple and this I will buy forever because I need at least like 15 spritzes of it in my hair for my hair to like look like this, which is like minimum lion's mane potential. So I love this product. I will continue to buy it forever. I recommend it for anyone that has dry, coarse hair. If you have thin hair, do not buy this because it will make your hair greasy, just so you know. So that is all of my empties. I hope this was really helpful for you guys because I think there's a lot of products in here that a lot of people use. So if you like this video, be sure to show some love to that like button down there. And if you subscribe, you can be one of my gypsies in every single one of your counts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.